Good morning again, dear students. I hope that you are all fine, healthy, and safe. So, uh, let's begin the fun with Ren and Martin. Ren and Martin's fun. Now, I hope that all of you are able to understand all the adjectives. How? Because in the pronouns, already you have learned so many things, and now you are able to categorize all these things. So, what if I say an interrogative? Yes, a question mark comes in your mind first when I talk about an interrogative word. So, what is an interrogative adjective? Yes, it's a question mark. And when someone asks you a question, it is your interrogative. What is next? That I told you before in the previous lecture that these words always start with WH words that was a hint for you that these are mostly WH words. So now are you able to understand the exercises of your books or is there any need to explain you more? No, because you all know very well that what is an interrogative? It is those words that ask us some question. Then when someone asks us question or when you ask a question from someone, it shows an interrogative sense. So let's move to the exercises. First, page number 61. There is a definition of interrogative adjectives that I would like to share once again with you that these are used with nouns to ask questions. Examples are always there for you like which, what, whose, etc. And all these words are started with WH words. So this is very interesting for you to understand again about interrogative. So let's move to the exercises. Let's see some examples on page number 61. Here we can see that on the top of your page it has been started with a very fine sentence of what kind of man is he. Now uh, boys and girls you must be thinking of the difference between using an interrogative pronoun with interrogative adjective. So I am going to tell you one most important thing that in any pronoun we are concentrating on the pronouns but in adjectives we are concentrating on the quality of the noun that this is the quality. Now they are asking us what kind of man is he? They are talking about the man's quality. So you have to be very clear about this thing that we are talking about the adjectives that tells us something good or bad about someone. Now your answer will be depending upon your adjectives that in the interrogative pronouns you are not bound to give an answer according to the adjectives but in the adjectives you are bound to answer according to their qualities. Let's see. I am going to share you uh, some answers with them. Like what kind of man is he? Is he cruel? Is he nice? Is he handsome? So these are the adjectives that tells us that we are talking about some interrogative adjectives here. But if I talk about the pronouns that tells us what? What is your name? My name is Amna. It simply tells us about a noun. And now we are talking about adjectives, not a noun. So keep in mind that when your question depends on the answer of the adjective, what you are going to do. Let's see more examples. On page number 61 again, number 2, which way shall we go? Now this is again tell us, us, they are asking us about the quality of the way. That should we take the short way or should we take the long one? So this depends on the quality of it. Let's see number 3 sentence also. Which mango do you want? Do you want sweet? Do you want big mango? Do you want um, sour mango? Do you like uh, yellow one or the orange one? So these are all the adjectives of the mango that tells us the quality and the quantity of an adjective. Got it? Let's move to the possessive now. What is possessive? We have already learned about the possessive things. This is my marker. Now it means that I am talking about my ownership. So let's move to the possessive. We have discussed in the pronouns already 
but I am going to repeat it once again that what is the meaning of the possessive? Possessive means ownership. It's the ownership of something. When I owns or you owns or somebody owns something, that is possessiveness. And ownership shows possession. So, possession is what? Is ownership. And ownership is possession. So, it means that we are talking about someone that he or she have or has something that is possessive. They are possessing something or I am possessing something that is possession. What else that I say my marker, your car, his house. These things are the adjectives of possession just like that you have used the terms in the pronouns. These are the possessions that go in the same way. But there is a little bit difference like the interrogative adjectives. For example, see your book pages number 61. Possession adjectives show possession. This is very clear. They are always followed by a noun. For example, my friend, her mother, your father, their things, his shoes, and our friends, its tail. These are all possessive adjectives. But we are following it by using a noun here. So what will be the examples? See your book pages number 61. There are some of the indications that has been given to you by using some images of the book. See, his toy, my book, Hamid's brother, their dog. How should we change them into a possession? Yes, now you got it that we have used a term apostrophe here to show some possessions also. This is also a type of possession. This is also categorized. This has been categorized in the category of possession. So how will we do it by using some of the examples on the next page number 62. Exercise number 1 will be very clear about these two categories. We have to identify, we have to pick out some interrogative and some possessive adjectives here. Number 1 sentence, my sister has misplaced her phone. My sister has misplaced her phone. What's the things here? Yes, possession is her phone. This is her phone. And if you see before her phone, there is a noun. There must be a noun that shows that we are talking about some adjectives. So, before noun, you are not able to see any possession. But after the noun, there will always be some possessions by using his, her, its. Got it? Next, don't sit on my chair. Don't sit on my chair. What's the position here? It's chair. Yes, we are talking about some particular objective. That is chair. But don't sit on my chair tells us that we are also talking about something different. That we are not followed by any noun, but we are talking about a particular noun here. That is a chair and chair is my position. So my chair will be your possessive adjective. The next is which is your class? Now it's very easy to you. You are able to understand the interrogative sense here that WH words always tells us something about interrogative. So WH word, which is your class? Here are two different categories in a single sentence. Which has been used for interrogative and your has been used for possession. The two things in a single sentence. Number four, which car is yours? Again, we are having two different categories in a single sentence. Number one is which, that shows interrogative sense. And number two is yours, that is possession. Number five, who has taken my pencil? Again, we have two things in a single sentence. Who is your interrogative? 
and my pen is the possession here. And I hope that all the uh, sentences are clear to you. Now move to the exercise number two. That is replace the personal pronouns by possessive adjectives. My dear students, this exercise is going to be a great fun for you because now you are able to replace them. Some pronouns has been given to you in the bracket and you have to change them to possessiveness. Let's see. Where is dash book? A pronoun I has been already given to you and you have to change it to your own position. Use it. How? Exactly. Where is my book? I will be changed to my and don't forget to see your that table that I shared you last time with the personal pronouns. When you will see that table, you are able to understand the first person, second person and all those singular and plural pronouns that how should we use them. See the next sentence. Number two, here is we teacher. Huh? Here is we teacher. Is it a correct sentence? No, because I have to show a position here. So I will change we to our teacher. Exactly. Number three. She goes to school with she brother? No, with her brother. Because her has been used for the position of she. So we will change it to her. Number four. They dash house is big. They? They house is big? No. Them house is big? No. Their house is big. Exactly. I would like to add one more grammatical error in your life that please try to avoid this error. There are so many students who are mixing up there and there. This is going to be an additional information for you. There has been used for somewhere and there has been used for the possession. So for this sentence we are going to use this one because this is the possession of the more people. They and this for has been used to show someone is there. Got it? So don't please do this mistake. The next is number five sentence. You dash laptop is very expensive. Your laptop is very expensive? No. Your laptop is very expensive. Now switch to page number 63 that there is exercise number 3. There is. I am talking about this there now. Okay. So there is exercise number 3 here. Let's see. Fill in the blanks with interrogative and possessive adjectives. What is this now? It's very interesting. Number 1 sentence shows dash pen is this you all are students and you know very well whenever you see something that is not identified by someone what you do you usually pick that pen or pencil and ask from the class whose pencil is this this is a very usual sentence that you most of the time use in your daily routine. So whose is going to be your WH word that tells us a possession of a pen with someone. This is your interrogative adjective. Number two, the dog is wagging dash tail. What should we use for the possession of an animal? Exactly, we should use its. Number three, write the answers in dash notebook. This is again a very familiar sentence that has been used by the teacher most of the time. The teacher tells you, all the students write the answers in your notebook. Got it? Your. The next is number four that tells us dash one is yours. This is again a question. Which one is yours? Aapka kaun sa hai? A very familiar sentence. Number five is dash time is it. Have you ever seen your watch, your wrist watch? Dash time is it? What time is it? Exactly. Number six, the children should carry dash water bottles to the ground. Now see your noun first, that is children. It is plural. So be careful about putting up your possessive uh, pronoun or your possessive adjectives that a noun should be followed by a plural sense or in a singular. So here are some 
children so it means that we are talking about there and which there this one exactly there water bottles to the ground number seven dash drink do you prefer milk or juice they are talking about the two things and you have to pick out the one as an answer but first ask the question which drink do you prefer milk or juice number eight Seema likes Seema is a girl so we will use a possessive adjective here as her Seema likes her milk with honey hope that all the sentences and all the exercises are clear to you all about interrogative and your uh, uh, possessive adjectives so please keep on practicing all the exercises to your own ones time for a diary dear students please complete the given sentences which i haven't completed because i want you all to please complete according to the given lecture best of luck complete your work as soon as possible have a nice day best of luck allah hafiz